What's up everybody, Jan Ditters here, back with an awesome tutorial video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can create isometric forms, letters, numbers like these. I've used this technique for my um, 36 days of type in 2018 I think. 2019 maybe so yeah I'm going to show you how they are built up and uh, the process of this number four so first of all we want to create an isometric grid you can create this yourself I've done a tutorial on this in the past but I'm going to use the easy way right now so you can go to this link, I will add this link in the description of this video and here you can download a free isometric grid for Illustrator. So open this grid in Illustrator and we want to create guides out of these lines. So we are going to release the clipping mask, press on the right mouse button and click on release clipping mask. So this square or rectangle we can delete and we want to select all the lines, go to view, go to guides and make guides. So now we have created guides out of the lines. So we are going to use this grid to create this number four in. Okay, so back to Illustrator. We are going to create it with the pen tool. We are first going to create the front form of the number four. Okay, so we are going to start over here. We want to go seven points, seven blocks up. Six, seven. Then we are going to create this path. Okay, something like this. Then we are going to create the side. Okay, this looks quite good. And we are going to create this crossbar. We want to move four blocks up. It's basically all being created with the pen tool. So it's a quite easy technique. Okay, press on P again. Now we are going to create this side of the number four. Okay, looks quite good. Now we're going to crea create this bottom part. Okay, so I think I have to decrease this bar a little bit by one block. Okay, click on the selection tool, deselect it. And now we want to create this curve in the number four. Okay, select this anchor point, select this anchor point and drag this all the way down. Drag this one a little bit down as well. We want to make sure we extend this line so we can use the Shape Builder tool. Okay, select the number four, press on Shift M and drag 
the forms with the shape belt of the room. So this is the top part of the, the front part of the number four. And as we see here, we have to create another line. This side it's a little bit curved okay select and select all the lines again press on shift M again and create the shapes okay so now we are giving color to it open the swatches panel this one has a black color these are a little bit light gray. Something like this. And, and these sides are a little bit darker. <clears throat> we are going to get rid of the stroke. Click on the stroke, click on none. And if we toggle the visibility of the guides, out and we can see the number four so this is how you create this number four looks quite similar i've added some grain to it for more realistic shadows this is something you could create as well but anyway basically this is how it's done you can create any of these shapes with this technique so i hope you guys learned something if you did please drop a like follow the channel and comment underneath this video and i see you guys in my next video peace